Hello friends and felines and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're venturing onto my channel for the first time today. If you're someone who loves new makeup and you love unboxing videos, then this is the video for you. So don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. So today's video is going to be my first glossy box unboxing. So if you want to know what this box is all about, then definitely keep on watching. By the way, if you are curious on what's on my face, that video will be linked right up there so you can go check it out. I highly recommend you check it out because I feature a lot of black owned makeup brands in that video. All right, so before we get into the glossy box, I wanna show you guys a few little goodies that I got. I went a little crazy at ColourPop and I've been meaning to get some more blushes. So that's exactly what I did. All right, so first off, one of the collabs I've been dying to get my hands on was, I didn't get the whole thing, but it was the Sailor Moon collection. Um, I didn't really want the whole collection because I mean, I do love Sailor Moon. I haven't watched it in years, but honestly the whole collection didn't appeal to me. Um, so I just got a few things. Like I said, I've been wanting to get some more blushes. So I did get both blushes from the collection. And look, it's so cute. Little Luna, she's so cute. I totally forgot about these packages. All right, so let me take them both out of the box. The shades were Cat's Eye and From the Moon. And this packaging is so cute. Oh my gosh, do you see that? It's like the little shifty thing, like... Hopefully you guys can see that. It like shifts. Oh my god. I don't remember the last time I had something like that. Ooh, and it makes that noise. Ready? ASMR moment. DJ Brittany up in the house, dropping that sick beat. Alright, so the first one is the cat's eye. That's what the shade looks like. And the second one is from the moon, which is a little bit more of a peachy shade. So I'm gonna swatch these really quick. It looks like From the Moon is more of a matte shade and then Cat's Eye is more of like a little glittery or a shimmer. So they definitely feel different. From the Moon, since it's matte, it's definitely softer and Cat's Eye, it has like glitter in it so it's a little bit more rough to the touch. So other than those two blushes, the only other thing I got from the Sailor Moon collection was the Ultra Glossy Lip. This one was in the shade Sailor Moon, I think. I don't really like their ultra matte blotted lips or whatever. They're a little bit too drying for me. So I just got one of the glosses and this is what the shade looks like. It is very pink and it's got some of that glitter in there. It looks like a gold glitter reflect. And I mean, the packaging is just to die for. It's so cute. So other than the Sailor Moon collection, I did get something from like the Wild collection. I don't remember what it was, but this is the Pressed Powder Cheek. It's from like the little like desert collection, whatever. So again, this is another blush. I'm interested to try this because I know Smoky Glow really likes ColourPop and she said that this formula was not one of her favorites because it's not necessarily a glitter blush. It's not a shimmer blush, somewhere in like the middle. So this is On The Horizon blush. This is what it looks like. This is a huge pan. It's a lot bigger than the other blushes that they have. I'm gonna swatch this really quick. It's kind of like in between a buttery feel and like that glitter feel. I can see what she's talking about. It's like got some pigment to it with like little glitter reflex. But I'm gonna wait to give this a try on my cheeks before I make any final judgment. Are you gonna play with all the paper right now? Is that what you're gonna do? I'm gonna eat it too. Yeah. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then the final collection I got from ColourPop was their new one. It was like the succulent collection. So again, I got three blushes. I think I got all but one. So I got the shades Desert Rose, Tearing Up My Heart and whole nine yards. So we're gonna open these up and swatch them so you guys can see. All right, so the first one up is Tearing Up My Heart. This one is a very light, dusty, rose pink color. The next one is Desert Rose, and this is more of a pink, and it has, it looks like a little bit of glitter in there, but I can't necessarily tell if that's just left over from my other swatches. And then the last one is whole nine yards, and this one is definitely more of a deeper, 
rose color. All right, so that was everything from ColourPop, and now we're gonna get into the good stuff, which is the glossy box. I haven't subscribed to this before. I saw a deal or I got an email or there was a coupon or something that said I could get my first three months for $39 total. So that's not a bad deal at all. But I think normally, I'm not exactly sure how much it is. Maybe 15 a month, 20 a month. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I will definitely include all the information down below. I know Allie Dawson is subscribed to this and I think she said it was like hit or miss whether the boxes were good or not. So I'm gonna use my little oh, scissors that I used to cut lashes to try to open this box up. <laughs> All right, so I tore my way into this box. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so it's a box inside of a box. Oh, I don't wanna open it yet. Let's go back on and just show you guys really quick. That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. There's a box for you to play with, go enjoy. All right, so look how cute this is. I'm definitely going to repurpose this box, which I like. If stuff can be recycled or reused, that is definitely, like, the option to go. But this is so cute. All right, I don't know what to expect, so let's see. Ooh, okay, yeah, so it was their birthday edition. I think they, like, just turned, I don't know, two years old or something. I'm not exactly sure. So it has a little booklet in here. Ooh, right on the back, it says, mark your calendars, glossies. Your priority access for this year's glossy box advent calendar starts on Tuesday, September 24th. So for just 25 of the hottest makeup, skincare, and hair care products you've always wanted to try from the most iconic brands out there. Hmm. Cool. That would be interesting. I never really do advent calendars, but... I also know that they have um, a new skincare line that you can get discounts on all of their products. Um, do they have it in here? Yes, they have all their information in here. Relatively priced, and if you are one of their Glossy Box members, you get it for cheaper in here. So they have like deep cleansing creams, moisturizers, night serums, exfoliants, micellar, hydrated mist, eye booster cream. So they have a lot of products in here. And again, like if you aren't a member, it's like 28, 20, 28, 25, like in the 20s, which isn't bad. And then there's a little bit of a discount if you are a Glossy Box member. I don't know if I'll be trying any of that skincare out because I have a good routine when it comes to skincare. So it is their birthday, so I think they have a bunch of codes and coupons and deals going on right now. So if you guys are interested, again, I'll leave the information down below so you guys can go check it out. I think that's why I was able to pay $39 for the three months. But depending on how those three months go, I Probably I'm just going to cancel it because, be honest, I don't need another subscription box. But I thought it was a good deal for $39 for three months. So, let's stop talking and see what's in here. Ooh, okay. Alright, so first big thing in here is the Tangle Teaser Professional Detangling Hairbrush Wet and Dry, the original. So that's what that looks like. Let's see what the information is. So the Tangle Teaser is valued at around $12. And this is the full size product. So they have full size and like deluxe sample sizes in here. So it just depends on what you get. The bristles on this look a little interesting. I'm not sure how this works for like curly hair. So I'm very, very intrigued. Don't know if my hair is going to get curled up in that, but... Alright, next thing I see is the Psst Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. So this is from Freeman Beauty, and it is valued at like $2.99. This is the travel size, obviously. I never use dry shampoo. My hair, I never feel like it's really oily. It's always on the drier side. So I'm definitely going to be putting this away for a giveaway. But it's supposed to be good for oily hair, which again, I don't have. And it is pink, clay, and peppermint, nourishing, and weightless. So, cool. All right, next thing is from Jekka Black. I just heard of this brand because I think Trixie Mattel did a video and she used something from this brand. But other than that, I've never heard of this. So this is the Glow Drops. It is a highlighting primer for the face. Vegan friendly, cruelty free, and it's in rose pearl. So this is worth $20. This is the full size product. So let's open this up and see if we can see what it looks like. So that's what the highlighting primer looks like. It's definitely going to be perfect to give you a nice glowy finish. 
For someone that has more dry skin, I'm totally going to try this out because I love being glowy and dewy, especially in the summer. And I think this would be perfect to put on underneath like a BB or a CC cream or like a white foundation. And it does have a slight pearlescent hue to it, but I think this is like super pretty and I'm excited to give this a try. All right, next thing, they actually gave us an item from their skincare line and this is the Eye Boost Cream. So this is $18 if you're a subscriber or it is $23 if you are not. So this is the full size. It reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. So you can use this morning and night, apply three drops to the eye area. So cool. I do have an eye cream that I'm using from Elemis that I really enjoy, but when that one runs out, I might throw this one in there and see how it works. I do use my Elemis one only at night, but this one says you can use it morning and night, so I might use this in the morning. Okay, so the next, oh, so the next thing in here was already opened, but this is a natural lip balm in Wild Berry. This is another full size item. And this is from Rebels Refinery. It is worth $7 and ooh, it's like soft. And it's in a cute little heart. It's not practical for like carrying around in a small purse or your pocket, but I do love the packaging. It's interesting. In my little con or in my little pamphlet, it says that it's supposed to be coconut lime, but then the box that it was wild berry. I don't know, I can't really tell. I'm not gonna put on my lips obviously because I have like lipstick on, but It doesn't really taste like anything, but I don't know. I don't smell any coconut, so I guess that's a good thing. I'm not a fan of coconut, so maybe I got the wild berry. Not really sure, but I'm all for this packaging. I think it is so cute. I think like this and my Sugar Rush lip balm are probably like my favorite packaging lip balms ever, so that's super cute. <laughs> all right, and then the very last thing I think is definitely like a little sample size it is from Snowberry. It is the Gentle Cleanse and Tone Soft Foam Cleanser. Hmm. Made in New Zealand. So yes, this is the deluxe packet, but I think it's it's still pretty small. But the full size for this is $72. Wow. And this is honestly just an extra treat that they threw in here, I think, for their like birthday. But it's a two-in-one cleanser toner formulated with unique New Zealand kiwi fruit extract and kanuka honey extract that cleanses and replenishes the skin, leaving it feeling beautifully refreshed. So since it's just in a little packet, I think I'm going to give this a try. Wow, this one's a pretty good box. I know Atlee Dawson, who I follow on YouTube, has done a couple of these unboxings, and I think her first box was a little of a letdown because they do mix deluxe trial sizes and full size items and everything in here was a full size item besides the dry shampoo which I think may or may not be the only thing I'm going to give away. I'm still unsure about this detangling brush. I think I might try it and if it doesn't work with my curly hair I might just give it to my sister and my mom who have straight hair but other than that like this was such a good box. All right I'm gonna add up everything and see how much it was worth. All right, so I told everything up in the box except the little extra treat, and it was $64.99, so pretty much $65 worth. And I think it's $18 a month, so it's definitely your money's worth. And I only paid $39 for three months of this, so I'm excited for the next two months. Again, I don't really know much about Glossy Box, but I will leave all the information down below. All right, guys, that was everything for today's video. If you enjoyed my little ColourPop haul and my little Glossy Box unboxing, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified when I post a new video. I love you guys, and if you subscribe to my channel, I welcome you my feline family. Bye! I'm interested. I can't fucking know.